NelsonTripod.com bringing you another original. It's fucking great. This just in. Tickles caught sucking my cheese drink this morning, 7 a.m. on the office desk. Hi, welcome to the Buttons Bulletin. It's the 26th of June. Let's get down to the news. Lego minifigures online. Lego's MMO. This is going to be on PC, Mac, Linux, iOS and certain Android devices. We've been told that the game is going to feature full cross-play across all of those and one persistent world. Now we've got our hands on the game at the moment and you can watch a little bit of gameplay just here. It's set to be released on the 29th of June. Funcom, the game's developers, have announced that after a small trial of free-to-play, they've decided that it's going to be buy-to-play at the price of $24.99. 2K and Turtle Rock have announced that they're going to release a new Hunter as part of Season 2 of their Evolve DLC. Lennox is going to be an Assault class player. He's going to have a mechanised suit with a melee attack for the first time for one of the Hunters, as well as weapons to kill the monster from a distance, I suppose. Season 2 will also include three other hunters and a new monster to play with. Evolve Hunting Season 2 is available for $19.99 on Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC. The Escapist, the prison escape game by Team 17 and Moldy Tooth Studios, is set to get new DLC on June 30th. The DLC will consist of a new military themed prison that players will have to escape from. We've also been told that there's going to be 6 new achievements and a leaderboard added to the game. During E3 last week, one of our writers, Trevor Anderson, was actually out in the States at the LA Convention Centre, speaking with developers, taking in the conferences and getting his hands on various games. Now we had the chance to sit down with Lauren Lanning, who was one of the brains behind Abe's Odyssey. You'll be able to watch the interview and see everything that he said in the link here. And finally, Arkham Knight, the hugely anticipated new Arkham game, is having a lot of issues on its PC release. The game is currently locked at 30 frames per second, where everything we've seen before now has been 60. There's various sound issues and technical faults that grind the game to a halt. And earlier this week, Arkham Knight was actually taken off of the Steam store until they could fix the issues. Who knows what Warner Brothers is going to do. Gotham needs you. That's all I've got for you today. It's been quite a quiet week on the back of E3. So check out the site. Like, comment, subscribe and make sure to check out that interview. Until next week, I've been Scott Davidson. Thanks for watching. Buttons Bulletins are brought to you by Save a Scotsman. Well, more like Save a Scotsman looking at this big bloody grizzly bear beside me. Come back next week for more.